It is the middle of what's commonly known as harmattan season in West Africa, where dry desert winds from the Sahara blow across this entire region with a vengeance. You probably wouldn't be mistaken by thinking that nothing could possibly grow here. But you would be very mistaken. Now, despite the extreme temperatures and only one rainy season that extends from June to October, the Bukinabe have been able to harvest some of that rainwater and grow everything from garden vegetables to a fruit that would be considered strange and even alien in a desert environment, namely strawberries. For five months of the year, 22-year-old Elizabeth Udrago and her family plant, grow and harvest these berries in tiny plots in villages surrounding the country's capital, Ouagadougou. February is the middle of the harvest period, where the strawberries are, for lack of a better word, ripe for the picking. This is not large-scale farming by any stretch of the imagination. But then again, all that these subsistence farmers need is enough to be able to live on more than a dollar a day. No one quite knows how or why strawberries became the fruit of choice here. For one thing, they require a substantial amount of water. And remember, this is desert country. But in a twist of irony, the water is available just a few feet below the surface and boreholes like this have helped disprove the myth that very little can grow in the desert. Elizabeth and her sister fill the 20 kilogram bowl of strawberries, which at the going rate of $5 a kilo should earn them a cool $100 by the end of the day. Not a bad day's earnings in this tiny corner of Africa. She skillfully places the bowl on her head and heads to the family's mud and brick house where she'll take a quick shower before again placing the bowl on her head while mounting her motorcycle scooter and yes, believe it or not, riding to the fruit market to sell her wares. It is a sight to behold and one can't help but think how many accidents have happened here when one loses their balance or another scooter does the same. But this is an all too common sight in West Africa where women form the backbone of the community and where all the hard work, donkey work some say, is done by women. 20 minutes later, Elizabeth arrives at her mother's makeshift fruit stand located right off the city's main highway. The fresh strawberries are placed on a shelf in readiness for prospective buyers. Many people come from all over to buy the strawberries. They come from Côte d'Ivoire and even from Europe as well. Everyone likes strawberries. Elsewhere across this dusty capital, it is the same story. An oasis of green surrounded by a dust bowl of dry, parched land. In Ouagadougou's main market, the newly arrived strawberries are an almost instant hit among both locals and foreigners. It is almost as though many here realize what an irony it is for such fresh, juicy strawberries to be grown locally in this desert country. Late in the day, Elizabeth has sold what she can and heads home on her ever-faithful scooter. Tomorrow is another day, and there are strawberries in her garden that will need to be picked in the morning and taken to the ready and willing. After all, there are only a few weeks left before the strawberry season is over. And in a way, it's a race against time, even as the desert continues to creep further and further south. Jeff Koinange, K24, Ouagadougou,
Burkina Faso. Thank you.